right now, Greg Clark with a special edition of Once Were. I'm at the Union Hotel in North Sydney, the new home of northern suburbs, and shortly the first graders are going to be presented with their jerseys by not one, but four of North's past internationals. I've hit the jackpot. Keith Gleeson, Cameron Shepherd, Reg Smith, Peter Carson. And Carso, I'm going to start with you. Scrum half, two tests for Australia, 79 and 80. Best memory overall? First test match. If you're saying best memory in rugby, First test at the cricket ground. Do you still remember it like it was yesterday? Yeah, I do, really. Although, the, probably the most exciting thing was that uh, at the end of the game, uh, our coach Dave Brockoff grabbed hold of the Bertlesley Cup and started running around the ground, so we just had to follow him. So, he's, he knew more about the Bertlesley Cup then than we did. Reg Smith, 22 tests, a lock, well, most of the time. What was your highlight? Oh, my first test as well. Uh, we played the Springboks in that famous 1971 series where. The Sydney Creek ground was just a mass of demonstrators, paddy wagons around the inside of the ground, barbed wire fence, demonstrators throwing uh, a lot of flares onto the field. So to play a test under those, your first test under those circumstances is certainly very memorable. Lock or second row in your first test and then you ended up being selected as a prop. Well, what's going on there? Well, that was just the weirdest selection uh, that I think has ever been performed by Australian selectors. I'd never played prop in my life. Uh, and, uh, and I'm packing against probably the best front row in the world. So after 20 minutes of that match in Brisbane, I was absolutely buggered. I'm sure that was the right option. Matt Rogers hopes it might be, and he turned it into the right option as he slips the ball inside to Cameron Shepherd. A pretty good strike rate, though, Cameron. Seven wins and a draw from your nine tests. What was the highlight? I think the, the best memory that I've got, and I'm not just saying that because Keats here, was uh, my first try for the Wallabies. And uh, I remember it was in 06, we were playing at Subiaco Oval, and I'd come off the bench with about 25 to go. We ran a nice little play off the line out. I got an inside ball off Stephen Larkham, and I went straight through under the post. Yeah, it was just a really special feeling that, um, you know, when I really think about it, I can remember the emotions going through my body, and uh, I'd say that's the highlight. Keith Gleeson, born in Dublin, grew up in Sydney, played for the Waratahs and then represented Ireland in 27 test matches, including four against the Wallabies. What was that like? To play international rugby, irrespective of who you played for, is very, very special. Um, but obviously then to play what, four tests against Australia, against friends in Dublin and out here in Australia, was, uh, was, was interesting and enjoyable. The one that we regret that got away was obviously the Rugby World Cup in 2003, when Australia beat us by a point down in Melbourne. Well, you're all here to present the jerseys to the Norse first graders before the Shoot Shield starts. What's it like to come back to Heartland where it all started for you? 99% of players just play club rugby. You know, it's only the very elite that get the opportunity to, to play representative football and, and the, the clubs are the heart of, the, of rugby. It's just uh, a culture that's really unmatched by, I think, any other sport. And for these young guys, yeah, you may not go on to pay 100 tests for your country, but uh, the journey that you can take through club rugby and, and the people that you meet along the way is, is a special one and, and you've really got to embrace it. Well, thanks for your time and we really appreciate you coming back and giving your time to the old heartland, Norse, and I guess we'll have to finish by saying, go the Shoreman in 2015.